Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. So first of all, a big thanks for the supporters of this channel. Those of you who are always hitting that like button, adding a comment, sharing the video. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, starting as usual with the EURUSD, we are looking at the weekly time frame. And as you see here last week, uh, the euro did break a key area. So we have a break below this level and below this level. And if we look left here, there is not much. Oops, this is not <laughs> so good. If we look left here, uh, we see that uh, there is not much on the way as until we reach this level and after that we start looking at this area down here but it is a uh, long time left until that we go down to the daily time frame and see what happened the same here you see that this uh, bearish flag, flag got broken nicely the market kept moving lower and as i said the most important uh, break was the below this area so for now uh, this uh, direction is still bearish uh, with lower lows and lower highs we had a really strong move here and uh, a slow Friday since uh, after such a huge move most of the time you end up going sideways so uh, what's next from here I think uh, we should keep looking to sell rallies the question is how big of a correction we might get as you see here it slowed down totally on Friday we might start having some kind of a correction in my opinion uh, and uh, the least that would be a retest of this area before any uh, continuation to the downside this would be the, the first level the second level would be up around this area here this uh, previously broken structure was also tested many times as support and it might act as a good resistance now so you have two levels to keep an eye at uh, the first one at around here and the second one is at around here to then look for the continuation move um, at the moment there is nothing else to do than keep selling those rallies in my opinion the trend is clear on this market sterling um, also um, did um, a strong move to the downside and uh, the difference here that the sterling was much stronger it was going to the upside while the euro was a little bit um, slowing down but then when they reached the 200 moving average and everything collapsed as you see here and um, now they did reach a another key area we have the neckline here we have this area been tested as support previously then tested as resistance so this is gonna be key uh, unless uh, there is um, uh, a break below this we should not be selling anymore here waiting for some kind of a breakout uh, my plan here is uh, that we uh, after this break here we might need to wait for another correction and yet another continuation so uh, waiting to see something like this happening some kind of a correction back up before selling or if we see a break below this and then look for a retest and continuation because as you see if they break below this area here there is not much that can act as support until we reach these lows down here so the two levels to watch on this market is here my act as support and start making some kind of a correction to then start looking for con continuation from that area or wait for a break look for retest and then quick continuation to the downside uh, in my opinion if they break this level because there is uh, really no support at that area at all uh, usd jappy nice uh, bullish move to the upside we do have a break above this previous high let's check the weekly time frame uh, on the weekly time frame you see the trend is still bullish we still have higher highs and higher lows there was no break be, be below this previous low here so we got the break uh, a correction a higher low and last week's uh, bullish engulfing candle looking very very strong um, going down to the daily we saw a little bit of a slowdown when the market did reach this level the neckline and this previously broken uh, structure or this previously um, uh, swing previous swing here uh, so looking good but it is time for a correction in my opinion after such a huge move usually what will happen is a correction i would say wait for the market to reach at around 
614.50.60 down here to then start looking if we're gonna get a continuational move to the upside after this breakout. Aussie big break to the downside and a continuation if we'll check the weekly time frame we see that the week did close right at the uh, this level uh, by the way guys sorry if you are hearing um, strange sounds from outside there is a huge storm going on outside of my window so sorry for that if you hear that in the video uh, again we are looking on the weekly time frame we are sitting at key support level so as for now this should be uh, um seen as support since there is no break below when and if they break below this then of course we start looking for the continuation as for now it is still acting as support it might be a good level for some kind of a correction to start happening here so be aware of that back to this broken structure maybe and then we might look for continuation so the cell level uh, in my opinion is up around here it been moving a lot uh, so it might need uh, a correction. I would love to see that correction happening instead of keep chasing this uh, price to the downside if it breaks lower. USD CAD also bullish um, did a nice break out of the range and then we kept having higher lows and higher highs uh, going to the four hour time frame you see it clearly this was the fa the first break out of the range retest continuation yet another higher low yet another higher low and a higher high so as far as we are above this trend line i think we should just be buying those dips now again even this market it is time for a bit of a correction so i would love to see a little bit of a correction back down to maybe this trend line to then start looking for the continuation so early next week be aware of potential corrections uh, on the dollar usd chief also did nice move from the bottom of the range i've been ranting about the range here for a while now guys i've been saying sell high buy low of this range wait for the breakout unless it breaks just keep playing those edges and we've got a really nice move here to the upside now it did break above these levels as well i don't think there is a reason for the bulls to stop before reaching the top of the range but it would be lovely to see a little bit of a correction and um, in my opinion at least back down toward this area that's the least of this correction uh, before the next uh, surge to the upside to tag previous high i think the bulls will keep pushing until they tag the top of the range now could this correction be deeper absolutely as you see here when and if they start this the, the correction there is not much on the way to hold so if this level does not work as the support level uh, i'm expecting then there is a lots of room to the downside maybe toward these areas before the continuation uh, might continue to the upside gold total collapse last week as you saw here um, we have a break below this level the market is back below the 200 moving average on the daily which is not respected at all at the moment found some support here on friday at this area so we need to keep an eye on this area here where the price did find some support this could also be a little bit of a profit taken but all in all after such a huge move one should expect at least slow down going sideways or some kind of a correction to start happening at least a correction toward this broken structure in my opinion is what you should be waiting for before you sell if you are a seller on gold okay but as for now see this as potential support yeah will you trade it to the upside from here possible but you really need strong signals here you need to see the market moving higher going back down holding as support start making higher low then maybe uh, it is possible to trade that correction to the upside uh, against this huge move to the downside here oil nothing much here still holding the line still bullish still holding above this uh, previously broken structure slowing down though Thursday and Friday got rejected twice uh, uh, both days we end up with a doji candle and you see here on the four hour time frame this double top with a uh, big um, 
divergence, bearish divergence on the RSI, so it may end up going back down. Uh, keep playing this range for now, guys. Uh, this is the range that we should be looking at, even on the one hour time frame. You see the divergence here. So uh, each time they fail to break higher, I think we might see a rotation back down on this market. And um, yeah, guys, that was it for this week. Thanks a lot. See you next Sunday. Bye bye.